Vélib is part of Paris now, it's part of the city now. What's interesting about the public bicycle systems is that they have started to have a renaissance in the last three or four years, which corresponds exactly to our interest and our commitment to doing something about global warming. And they are something that can be realized in the city in a very short period of time. You get half an hour of free bike usage per time you check out a bike. That's unlimited per day, so you can have as many free half hours as you want. You just have to go check your bike back in. Here you are in the heart of the biggest system in the world with 1,451 stations, 20,600 bicycles, more than 3 million of subscribers. I want a ticket, Vélib'. Insert my card. And we find ourselves a bike. And we first of all, we make sure that the tires are okay. See if the seat works, bring it up. Then we take our Vélib card. We just flash it over. One, two, three, and off we go. In Paris, uh, we, we had around uh, uh, 200 uh, kilometers of uh, cycle network in 2001 and in 2007 we have already 400 kilometers so that we double the length of the network. En tout cas Vélib est venu aussi parce qu'il y avait des aménagements cyclables et que beaucoup d'entre eux étaient contestés parce que malgré les efforts qui ont été faits le nombre de cyclistes ne s'est jamais vraiment développé. Around 30% of the traffic of bicycle is made by Vélib. It was a, a good uh, way to uh, demonstrate that uh, it could be possible to ride on bicycle in a so big uh, city like Paris. C'est vrai que pour moi, enfin, Vélib, c'est simplement un outil euh, pour qu'on parle du vélo, pour qu'on développe la mobilité à vélo. Vélib uh, has uh, convinced a lot of people that cycling in Paris is not that dangerous. I'm a new bike rider. I didn't. I just took the subway. It's very practical. I guess a car is not an option in Paris because there's a, literally no space to park. Vélib, uh, it's easier than having a bike yourself because having the, the bike at home means that I have to keep it inside the apartment. If you have to go to République, it's 10 minutes by bike. But if you have to take the metro, you have to take in Bastille, they take another metro and then it's maybe half an hour. What happens now is you have a day, you have your Vélib card, you say, oh, I have to get an earring there and then there are tube stations that are have to go through to go to another place. You don't do it anymore. You just grab a Vélib, you take it, do your earrings. It's very, very easy. You cannot start a system with 20 stations in a, such a big city like New York. You have to go big enough to where it's at least one bike per 200 residents. I think that's a bare minimum for the good function of the system. Cities who made a, a too small uh, organization, a too small network, don't have a, a real success. For example, in, Fran in France, in Rennes, uh, the, the network of public bicycle is not really efficient because when you have not enough station, not enough bicycle, uh, the people don't use it. If you want to borrow a uh a bike and go somewhere, you have to put it back in a place very near where you go. You know, if you have to walk you know, very far to, to put your bike back in a station, that wouldn't, won't work. The network of Vélib stations is built according to the modal chain with another transportation means. The best part about Vélib is really a combination of things. One is the, the number of bikes, the number of stations, and the way that it interacts with public transit that already exists in Paris. So effectively it becomes just another form of public transportation. You can see at this station, you can ride along the protected bike lane, you see a Vélib stop, you park your bike, you get on the metro and go to your next de destination. 
seamless. It's easy. It's fun. Uh, what's better than having a public bike be a part of your public transportation system? I would take the metro, I think, because uh, I think it's very convenient. But uh, it's very uh, pleasant to, to ride when the uh, sun is shining. Et puis, euh, et puis bon, Vélib a ouvert, euh, ça a été tout de suite un, 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 un véritable succès. Euh, mais c'est vrai que globalement, enfin, dès l'été, on a senti que les gens qui, qui faisaient du Vélib faisaient partie d'un groupe. C'est vrai qu'on a beaucoup vu, et ça, ça tend à se calmer quand même, hein, ce phénomène, mais des gens qui se parlaient, s'adressaient la parole, se demandaient « mais est-ce que le système est bien ?»« Où allez-vous »« Est-ce que je peux vous aider à, à, à monter, descendre la selle ?» Après un an ou deux, les gens savent comment utiliser les stations. Mais si vous avez des touristes ou des choses comme ça, ils ne savent pas. Et j'ai toujours remarqué que les gens s'arrêtent et les aident. There was only four months of time to build the actual system itself in order to have it online by the 15th of July, uh, 2007. What's wrong with it? Well, again, everybody says the same thing. First of all, this is it. they say there are bicycles that are not working in the system, that there are problems with the tires, there are problems with the chains, uh, the brakes are not always perfectly adjusted. Yes, yes. But uh, this is the exception and not the rule. But there are people, by nature of their very personalities, only see the things that don't work. So, voilà, on tâtonne, on est encore dans un domaine un peu expérimental. Uh, tous les jours, on apprend des choses nouvelles sur Vélib, etc. Et je pense que, voilà, on, on est assez modeste et on va réussir progressivement à améliorer les situations, les dérégulations, et puis à bien comprendre ce que c'est que cet outil et comment le développer pour qu'il y ait toujours plus de gens qui viennent au vélo. We calculate that for every kilometer of car traffic they're able to remove uh, from the city, you save a dollar. And so if you take a look at the fact that five or ten percent of all Velib trips replace what were formerly car trips, I think the latest number is around three million trips over the course of the last eight and a half months. That's 300,000 car trips. Average trip length uh, five kilometers. Multiply that uh, by uh, a dollar per kilometer and you've got a big number there. So we're already saving millions of dollars uh, through the introduction of this system and we're just starting. Just about everybody loves it.